Many people complain that the new update drains the battery faster than the previous software. I found out the answer, so if you wonder what the truth is, you will find it in this video. I spent two days doing this test and used the following phone models. iPhone XS Max 11 12 and iPhone 13. Okay, let's start the first part of the test. The devices have the same settings, are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, run with the iOS version 17.7, and the brightness of the screens is the same. The results will be shown in stages, so that I will present every hour how much is left of the batteries. Now I'm going to leave the phones with the home screen on so I'll see you in an hour. For you, the first hour passed in the blink of an eye, and these are the results. In the last place is the XS Max which fell below 90%, 11 and 12 are equal, and 13 has the best result. Furthermore, in the next hour, the devices will run on the YouTube app with video at 1080p resolution. Two hours after the start of the test, the results are quite good for all devices. I'm curious if there will be differences when I replicate this test on iOS 18. An important consumer of the battery is the camera, that we use almost daily, so I will move on to an hour of video filming at 4K resolution and 24 frames. This step will make the difference and will separate the phones according to the battery strength. Speaking of cameras, let's see what result we have after an hour of video recording. As I expected, the percentage dropped a lot in all cases, so we only have one phone that has more than 50% after 3 hours of operation. Further, in the following hour the phones will run in the TikTok app which is set to auto-scroll. We are approaching the first models that will close and we will see together in what order they will be. Although not all have a good battery health status, all devices pass the 4-hour barrier. The iPhone XS Max reached below 20% autonomy, while the iPhone 13 has almost 40% of the remaining battery. Because games are indispensable in our lives and we often play them on our smartphones, the next step is the test in play mode. I chose a funny and easy game that many of you know. Before the 5-hour threshold, we have the first model that closes. This is the iPhone XS Max that lasted 4 hours and 56 minutes, this result being a decent one, considering the health of the battery. The rest of the devices successfully passed the 5-hour threshold and the iPhone 13 has the best result. 11 and 12 are below 10% and will close soon. I will continue to use the camera in maximum resolution shooting mode until they close. I reached the second device that completely discharged, this being the iPhone 11, which lasted 5 hours 4 minutes and 50 seconds. With a better health of the battery, I expected it to last a little longer. We'll see how long it lasts on iOS 18. At 8 minutes distance, the iPhone 12, which is held up quite well, also reaches the end. With a continuous use of 5 hours 12 minutes and 53 seconds, it's not far from the iPhone 11, but it's still better. I'm still left with the iPhone 13, which seems to have lasted the best, and we'll see when it closes. When it comes to the battery of a device, there is no need to purchase new products to be able to enjoy a pleasant experience, it is enough to choose a suitable model according to the budget. The 5 to 6 year old phones are close to the newest ones and on top of that we have the possibility of changing the battery. But be careful, changing the battery cannot guarantee an improvement, and for that I have a separate video with a link in the description that shows you why. And now the winner of the iOS 17 test, is the iPhone 13 which lasted 5 hours and 38 minutes, being a very good device for the year 2024. Stay here because the second part is coming in which I will do this test but with iOS 18, so we will see if there are differences in performance and battery life. Now that the phones are fully discharged, I will quickly do a charging test, so that we can see the time needed for each of them to fully charge. I will use 20 watts fast charge adapters. I turn on the socket and charging starts instantly for all phones. Let's see how long it takes to charge each one. The interesting part where we will see if there are differences between iOS 17 and 18 follows now. First of all, 
I update all devices. After the process is finished, I make sure that all the settings are the same as in the previous test, the brightness is the same, the volume and others, because I am going to reproduce the same test as in the first stage. Now I'm going to leave the phones with the home screen on for an hour and we'll see what the differences are, compared to iOS 17. The first hour has passed and the differences are obvious. The iPhone 13 discharged more in this first phase, while the others fared better. Further, it follows the same as in the first part, running in the YouTube app of the same video in 1080p quality. The first two hours have passed and from what can be seen the iPhone XS Max, 11 and 12, have a better autonomy on iOS 18 and the iPhone 13 has decreased more, compared to the previous test. Now let's go to the phase where each phone is closed, so we can see the final results. The first one from left to right is the iPhone XS Max which shut down first in the iOS 17 test. But now that's not the case anymore, because it's shut down second, and the result is obvious. With a battery health of 79%, the device had a battery life of 4 hours and 56 minutes on iOS 17. The surprise comes after the update to iOS 18, so it lasted 5 hours and 11 minutes. The difference is not big, but considering that it is in continuous use, in normal use the improvement is significant. So iOS 18 increased usage time for iPhone XS Max. The second from left to right is the iPhone 11, which finished first in the second test but finished second in the first. And in his case, there are differences, but not very big. With a battery health of 83%, the device had a battery life of 5 hours and 4 minutes on iOS 17. While with the same test performed on iOS 18, it did not last as long. So iOS 18 decreased usage time for iPhone 11. We move on and follow the iPhone 12 which closed the third in both cases. Even in this situation, there are relevant differences. It is interesting how the new software version influences the devices in one way or another. With a battery health of 87%, the device had a battery life of 5 hours and 12 minutes on iOS 17. And as an improvement, iOS 18 brought a longer usage time, so the update is good for the iPhone 12. And now the last device is the iPhone 13 that was affected by the software update. It seems that it is not useful on all phones. The difference does not seem big, but with normal use it is noticeable. The test was done with continuous use. With a battery health of 84%, the device had a battery life of 5 hours and 38 minutes on iOS 17. However, after the upgrade, it decreased in performance so iOS 18 reduced usage time for iPhone 13.